Hello everybody, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going over two new highlighters and we're gonna go over some of my favorites, not just for myself, but for my professional makeup artist kit. Let's go ahead and get started with the new Charlotte Tilbury and the Rare Beauty and then we'll get into my faves. Let's start with the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Glide Face Architect highlighter. This is a powder highlighter that's supposed to glide on like a liquid. Now this is meant to blur imperfections, illuminate the skin, and sculpt and lift. So I got the color in Pelo Talk because Pelo Talk is all the rage within her brand. Now these are $48, which ooh, that's quite the price tag for a highlighter. I think my Dior and my Chanel highlighters are about the same price or around that same price. So I'm hoping for a lot when it comes to this highlighter because I really do love my Dior and my Chanel highlighters because they don't crease, they don't cake, they don't grab, and they have a satin-like finish, which supposedly these are supposed to do the exact same. So let's go ahead and try it on and see what we think. This moves back and forth, so it's not really tight in the case so when you go to brush it on it spins with the brush all right let's go ahead and try it on and see what we think though i'm gonna place it right here where we catch a lot of light when it comes to highlighters there are several different ways that you can wear them one you can actually put them on before your foundation you put a light coat all over the skin and then you can put your foundation on top and that will create a kind of lit from within glow to your makeup complexion look. Or of course you could put them on the high points of the face. I like to wear them on the body. I'll actually put lotion on my models, uh, the chest, the arms, the legs, and then I will grab a big fluffy brush, something like this, and put it in my powders and dust the product on and then massage it into the skin. It captures light beautifully. I also like to use products on the ears. I'll use it on the cupid's bow, the chin. Just take my pinky and grab a little bit and put it on the inner corner. I'll use it to highlight the center of the lid with my makeup. And I like to use it on my brow bone. Anywhere you wanna draw attention, that's where I'd recommend putting highlighter. And as you can see, it is really catching light beautifully. It is really buttery. It has that gel-like texture. It did say it was supposed to create a liquid-like finish. And I will say that that is absolutely happening here. Really pretty, very bright. For those of you that have age concerns, whether that be around the eyes or even on the face, the cheeks, just be careful when it comes to highlighter. I have a couple here that I'm gonna show you for those of you who just do not like shimmer and kind of glitter sheens when it comes to your formula. I do have some other options for you, but if you're somebody who likes that high beam, juicy, wet look, you will love this. And like I said before, if you put the highlighter on first, put your foundation on top, it's a beautiful way to wear a glow boosting effect to your complexion, especially for my clients who are over 40 or 50 and up who are having age concerns. All right, let's go ahead and try now on the Rare Beauty and then we'll get into my other favorites. Let's go ahead now and go on to the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter. And I got the color in Mesmerize. And I have to just state quickly that the Rare Beauty line by Selena Gomez has really, really impressed me. I haven't tried the whole line out, but the pieces that I have tried have been exceptional and the price point is really lovely. It doesn't break the bank. So I have used several products on myself and I use several products in my kit. And if you guys want a video on the products that I like of hers, let me know. So here's the color in Mesmerize. Look at that, you guys. I mean, it is just gorgeous just silky texture nice and bright and she does have several shade ranges there are four that I'm seeing here online from light to gold to this really pretty um, pink color and then like a peach kind of bronzy color all right let's go ahead though and get in here and try this on now this is a powder highlighter that's supposed to give an instant glass like sheen to the skin and once you guys touch these, it's really hard not to want to buy all four because they just feel so incredible. Really beautiful texture on these. Now it does state online that they are semi-sheer, transfer proof, and smudge proof. And that they're meant to have an airy quality to them and I highly agree with that statement. I'm gonna go in with my finger and just tap a bit on and see how it layers. 
It does state on the Sephora website to use the Positive Light Precision Highlighter Brush for best results. But I'm liking it with my finger. I'm adding a second layer here and to the center of the lid. And it does state online to use as a eyeshadow. And I am living for that. I'm going to use the same brush that I used for the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. And I'm going to place this on the chin area. And I'll go down the center side of the nose over here. Oh, do you see how that caught light really quickly? Love. It almost kind of reminds me of a mirror effect. It has that reflective quality to it. This is really beautiful, but I have to state, I don't see me using this on clients who have a lot of texture, whether that be pores, fine lines, or deeper set lines. I would use this on areas of the face that are nice and taut, don't have texture, or to like highlight, let's say, the upper lip area, a collarbone, an eyebrow bone, the nose. It's a gorgeous finish. It's just really intense. And so for my clients that want something a little more reserved, something a little softer, and you can see this is softer. It has that subtlety to it where this is definitely meant to be a wow factor. Now this next section is my top five favorite highlighters. And when I was pulling these, I thought to myself, okay, why am I choosing these? And I always think in several different directions because I don't wanna just pick what I'm gonna love. It's really important for me to think about what my clients love, what looks good when it's getting photographed, what would my makeup artist friends love, and what would my everyday makeup lovers gravitate towards or have concerns about. So these next five are for you guys. The first one might surprise you. It's an eyeshadow and it's by MAC and it's a cream shadow. And this is the Vintage Selection Pro Longwear Paint Pot and the color is called Vintage Selection. And you might be wondering, why are you choosing an eyeshadow pot for highlighter? And that's because I like the longevity of this and that it's waterproof and long wear. So if you're somebody that sweats a lot, you're in a climate with high humidity, or you go swimming, or you have a photo shoot and water's getting all over you, you need something that's going to really stay. And I find that these paint pots by MAC don't move, especially layered with the Krylon setting spray on top of these. It's perfect it's magic you guys so let's take a look at the color though and of course you can get several different colors because mac has a bunch of different paint pot colors and this one i chose because i just find it looks beautiful on all skin tones i'm going to go on top of my charlotte tilbury to show you guys what i mean the paint pots dry quick and you need to make sure you blend them in really well because they wanna grab and dry down. They can get thick or they can set too fast. So move quickly and work in small sections of the face. My next favorite is a staple when I travel or when a client says, I want something that is all in one palette and that is really easy to use on various areas of the face. And that would be the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. There are several different palettes. This one I find works good for light to medium skin tones. But what I love about it is not just that it's all in one, but these are very light. So for my clients who go, I do not want to look super shimmery. I want it to be very natural. This is for you. And I will show you what I mean right now. So here's two different colors. And I'm going to put them right here in the back of my hand so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. See how light those are? So pretty. You can really tell the difference um, when you're comparing it to the MAC paint pot. And this is why I reach for this palette often for my natural makeup wears or for my clients who go, please, not a lot of shimmer. I want to look natural, but I'd like a subtle glow. Or if I'm on a photo shoot and I don't want to have a lot of light catching shimmer sitting on the surface of the skin. Now these next two are both by Chanel and I have the Le Beige Illuminating Highlighter. And then I have the Chanel Balm Essential Stick. Now there are various shades in both the Balm Essential Stick and the Le Beige Highlighter slash Illuminators. Now it's all in the name with both of these. This says Sheer Healthy Glow. 
And that's exactly what these are. One of my favorite ways to wear the Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow is to take my foundation, and it could be any foundation. I'm using the House Labs today. And for myself, as well as clients, I take about a pump of my foundation and a pump of the Sheer Healthy Glow. Now I mix these two together. I'm gonna show you guys here how beautiful the finish is on this. I can't begin to tell you how many bottles I go through of the Sheer Healthy Glow, especially when it comes to doing photo shoots and bridal. It just gives the most ethereal looking finish. It gives you a glowy look without looking super shimmery and frosty and glittery. It is just absolutely the most stunning way to enhance your complexion. I'm gonna blend this all into the back of my hand because I want you guys to see how beautiful this looks on the body. I use this often on legs, the chest, the back. So here's the difference between using a highlighter on just the top of the skin compared to mixing your highlighter into your foundations. the Chanel Balm Essential Stick. There are several colors, and I'm using the color Ore today, which is a nice golden kind of sheer color. And I have to tell you guys, this is the one that my clients who do not, do not like shimmer highlighters, do not want to have any of that frosty glittery look, this is what I reach for. Now they do have a color that is called Transparent that has nothing in it except for like a light shift of like pink, but you can't even tell. Another one that I love is by Westman Atelier and it's her, I believe it's her translucent stick, um, but that one is amazing as well. They're both very similar. But what I love about these is when it comes to creating true glass-like skin, I will put this all over a client's face before I put anything else on because it's hydrating. It has a glossy, balmy texture to it. I tap it into the skin and then I go in and put the foundation, concealer, etc. on top and it gives the most beautiful glow to the skin. This is what I like to call editorial skin. This almost feels like you're putting a beautiful jelly body lotion on by the time you mix the two together. It is flawless. And see how there's no light reflective pigments? It's just the balmy texture that's giving you that light reflective quality. So I will do this with my foundations. I also love to use this on the lips to prep before I put lipstick on. Sometimes I'll just use this by itself. You can also put it on top of lids to give that glass lid look, which I'll do that in a minute for you guys. I like to put it on top of my highlighters or just on the bare skin. In fact, one of the top ways I use this is for my clients who have deeper set lines and wrinkles or age concerns and they do not want frosty shimmery highlighter whatsoever. I will use the emollient properties of this stick to give me that nice sheen. Feel free to skip any highlighter and just use these, especially for my clients with age concerns. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit with my finger. I like to press this over the bridge of the nose. Grab a little bit more on my finger here. I love how this gives me juicy lids. You guys can see that it gave this lid some sex appeal. Let's get into our last favorite. And I'm just gonna start off by saying right away that this last palette is sold out. It's been out for a really long time but I hardly use it because I love it so much that I only use it on special occasions because it's my absolute favorite. And that is the Victoria Beckham, and this was the Estee Lauder collaboration. I can't even read what color it is on the back. Highlighter. I'm trying to see here if it will pop up. Modern Mercury. I live for this color. This is a true rose gold highlighter. It fell out, as you can see the crack here, and I very carefully placed it back in because I do not want to waste a drop of this powder. Now, one that I found that was similar that made me so happy was the Chantikai, and it's called the Sunbeam Cheek and Eye Palette, and I believe it's in the color Ray, and I do believe they still have some. There's one other one, and I'm gonna see if I could find it here. I'm gonna go in my stash. And this one's by Chanel, it is similar. And this came out, I think, 
two years ago. This is the Pearls de Lumiere. And as you can see, I try not to use it very much, only on special occasions. But let's compare the two and see if they're kind of similar. Let's look at the Chantecaille Sunbeam Cheek and Eye Shade in the color Ray. This one I use often, and that's because I got backups. And let's take a look at this compared to the Estee Lauder. As you can see, the Sunbeam by Chantakai and the Victoria Beckham with Estee Lauder are pretty similar, you guys. You can see why I bought this one and why I got so excited when it came out. It's just beautiful. And the reason I like this one as well as this one is because I can use it everywhere and it does so much for the complexion. I use it on my cheeks really quickly in the morning, my eyelids, I'll use it as my blush, my highlighter, put on a little lip gloss, mascara, brows, and I'm out of the house and it gives the most beautiful, like warm but awake and fresh look. So it's like a quick one and done and I live for the one and dones. Now this last tip is for those of you who have any eyeshadow palette, there is always a light shade in there. And that light shade has now become your new favorite highlighter. Let me show you what I mean. Here's the new Dior Mitza palette. I just did a video on it. I'll link it below for you guys. But look at these two sitting over here. That's your highlighter. And let's just grab this one here. Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. And by the way, you guys, I just have a stack of palettes sitting here and I'm just grabbing one after another to show you guys how easy it is to find a highlighter in your eyeshadow palettes. Boom, there's your highlighter. Here, I'll even show you. Here we go. There you go, highlighter. Another Natasha Denona, my dream palette. You might look at this and think, where's the highlighter? Right down here, it's your lightest color. This has a little bit more gold in it, that's okay. Let's go right on top over here. There's your highlighter. Put a little on the chin so you guys can see what I mean because I know I have a lot of colors going on there. So this doesn't have any highlighter on. Boom. Another highlighter. The NARS Holiday Palette in Stargaze. This light one up here. There's your highlighter. Put a little bit over here. And there you have it. Your eyeshadow palettes are a treasure trove of different shades that you can use in various ways. For instance, I would use this as eyeliner. I would use these two, mix them together and use them as a blush. You name it, you can do it. Eyeshadows are great. And especially for those of you who look at palettes like this and think, what am I going to do with this? I don't know how to use all these colors. Break it down into light, medium, and deep shades, our day to night, or even think cool and warm. We've reached the end of the video. If you guys are enjoying Shree Voyage, whether that be education or entertainment, please don't forget to subscribe. Use those affiliate links down below. That's what helps me to continue to do this channel. I have a list of stores that you can shop for anything you want or need, and of course, everything I use today. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment. And if you guys haven't had enough, you can head over to TikTok or Instagram where I do mini tutorials and show you a sneak peek of my life as a professional makeup artist. Or you can book me for a one-on-one -on -one and we can do an artistry lesson. I teach beginning to advanced. And if you go to shrivoyage.com, which that will be in the description box down below, you can pick any lesson that suits you at this point. Thank you so much for watching. Please continue to take care of you, take care of each other, be kind to one another. I know that I'm sending you all great big hugs for 2023 and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.